yawning portal. To find, and then you found out down there that uh, there was a monstrosity man and a lab that led back to the guard. Double turd bucket. You're also holding a key that you were told by the key maker. Oh, you investigated for that one. And they had told you that. I'm trying to remember what the hell you guys. You. Yeah, he told you that the old windmill was. It leads to their. No, you guys. Information or didn't you? What? No, I'm trying to remember the key. Mm. That's what I'm trying to remember what you guys did with the key. The one for the coffin. The one you. Yeah, the one you found from the coffin. We haven't done anything with it. Oh, no, the other guy told you who to go talk to. Your The guild leader told you who to talk to. Oh. The Enclave guy told you to go to the... Go talk to the... Dwarf dude. There you go. The dwarf over at the market. And that's when you guys ran into the whole issue with the kid. What kid? The kid that needed uh, saving out of the sewer. Oh, we're well past that, though. Yeah, just stuff went on. When you guys were making, yeah, when you guys were making your way there, ended up with the kid issue. No, I'm pretty sure we saw that dwarf. He told us something. Oh no, you! Oh, you made him. Oh, now you remember? I, I, you, I did. I you cast, you cast no, no. a suggestion, so you had to tell you. Yeah, so you had. Now to tell I remember. You. Yeah, you had cast a suggestion on. Him. He had to tell you what where that belongs to, and he told you that two guys had bought him off, off him. And they reside, it's the key to their room at the windmill. And lastly, your barbarian is missing. Oh, yeah, they're missing. Uh, yeah, Both. we have friends missing, and we have to go to the windmill. Mm-hmm. And possibly, well, yeah, to go check out the freaking. Uh, to getting people to work at our tavern. Yes. We need employees. So he told you at some point you'll start getting people to interview. Yeah. Uh, he had told you that he already put out the, um, the alert that you guys needed people. I believe he said a waitress, a bartender, a servant, and manager. a manager. A hostess and a manager. Oh. And he we said, got the hostess long as... with the mostess? And he said that we should pay the manager good and and skimp on the other people. So they'll they'll send you... The, he'll, he'll start sending people your way or once people start... He's letting them... You know, he's getting the word out that you, you, you're hiring. Mm-hmm. So at some point, people will start throwing up the tavern. I'm going to check our mail. Is that, do we have a mailbox? Well, you guys are going to have a long rest. You guys are finally going to get some sleep. Some of you are. So some of you guys are finally, you know, you've been going on for like two, two to three days. I thought we like had a rest already at least once. Mm, you had a short rest. 
because you went back, but oh no, you didn't. You yeah, went we straight. had we went we went right to the tavern and we had we slept. No, right now you have. This is your long rest. Yeah, yeah. I think this is where we stopped. This is your long rest, right? You finally got back to the tavern. You finally went. Yeah. So all your spells are restored. Back, your health is back up. Like you lost any. So you guys know I added a cantrip called guidance, so I can oh give neat you a D4 roll to uh, ability checks. You can use it once, and it, I can use it pretty much unlimited because it's a cantrip. What does it do? Sorry. It says, uh, I'll click on it. Oh. So. And it's, uh. Guidance. So ability checks, they can do an extra D4. Or I'll roll the D4 and then they get whatever plus. But you have to be within touch. Yeah, yeah. So I would help them do something or help a NPC do something. So you're kind of giving them a blessing. Yeah. It'd be beneficial on like when we try to you know, like persuade somebody or something. So I or... think just to keep it reasonable, I would use it in situations where my character would probably know, you know, have at least some guidance to uh, help them. So that would be certain. You know. Yeah, I will turn to you and ask for the hookup. Yeah. I'll say it like that. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I need the hookup. You need guidance. <laughs> yeah. I also added magic weapon so I can use that to enhance your weapon for up to one hour. Or mine. All right. Anyways. Mm, so that, keep, keep in mind with concentration, if you get hit, you have to roll. That's See fine. If you get, see if you can keep your concentration on. That's fine. So as you make your way down. Back to the town. You can't. You guys showed up late. So you kind of went straight upstairs. You can see how beautifully the carpet the carpenters have done of a job mm -hmm. with your place. Like it doesn't look like it's run down anymore. It doesn't look like it looks very well. The floors look beautiful, like mahogany, almost wood. It's not really, but. They made it look like your ch your chairs look beautifully. The wood and the the texture, the shape of them. The bar is really shiny, gloss. Nice. The the mirrors have been shined up. It looks like pretty much they're about to be done with their. Work. Now, since they've been working day and night, they've been able to get a lot of. And we have guards now. What guards? So, the guild gave us guards. Oh, yeah. To watch our place. True. So, as of right now, are you guys head downstairs. <laughs> you see that there's two guys sitting at the bar just, man, you guys got good food here. Can you add oh, two yeah. dudes to our uh, map? Oh, sure. One second. Let me go take you to the map. Let's go. Now we have official NPCs in our tavern. Let me go. Oh, yeah. The spell I added for getting to fourth level was chromatic orb. So I'm going to need to get a diamond at some point. Yeah, that's going to be expensive, motherfucker. <laughs> Just 50 gold. It doesn't consume the diamond. <laughs> so 
So this is the main entrance. Uh huh. But like <laughs> on each side. Or maybe it, would they be inside or outside? Uh, they smelled the food, so they came inside and started eating it. All right, that's fine. So they really didn't. They're just like, oh, left those food. Welcome to the tavern. Do you have? Do you guys uh, have any names or nicknames you want to tell us? I'm Fran. He's Han. Han. Oh, <laughs> and we are both here, very pumped. Good, good. <laughs> the leader, uh, the you know, you're part of the group now, so uh, you know they sent us over here to watch over your place. Very much appreciated. Ah, looks very fancy now. I remember when this used to be a shithole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Took a little, I, bit, I, I... little bit of time, a little bit of money. Yeah, thanks for the grub, man. I didn't expect one of you guys to be up so early cooking. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would have been up this whole time because I only need four hours, like meditation. I mean, are you telling him that, or are you just like saying it? I'm just kind of saying it, but yeah, no, I'll just be like in the corner. I'll point over to the corner. See that guy? He doesn't really need to to sleep too much, so. Good thank him. Your voice is clipping. Okay. There we go. I hear Yay. you guys now. Yeah, it was acting like, pretty weird. I heard Rose. I thought it was me. No, no. Whole deal. That's why I typed Discord just tanked. Yep. All right. So I point to the corner and say, that's Arturel. You can thank him for the breakfast. Both of them with a fork through the sausage raise it up. To- <laughs> thank you. Thank the ghost. Oh, so, uh, got, okay. You all got ghosts in here? Yeah, that's just the one. He's friendly. Didn't want to scare you guys, so uh, yeah, it's fine. He makes the food. He's great. Huh. Okay. He's a friendly ghost. His name's Casper. Is that official? Um. (laughs) No, I'm just being funny. We're gonna grab our plates and go outside. You're locked. So they load before, up. before you guys leave, see that mirror? If you want uh-huh. anything, ask the mirror and you'll probably get it. Uh, they both look <laughs> at the mirror and they see a ref- they see something past the mirror and they're like, we're definitely going to wait out. We'll All see right. you. <laughs> we'll be right outside the door here at the patio area. Sounds if good. If you need it. So they're chilling like in your front patio area. Nice. So do we have a ramp for uh-huh. handicap accessible? Yeah, I was going <laughs> to. I just noticed that. It's We're your handicap. Your handicap accessible. Nice. We're up to code that way. Yeah, That's okay. good. So this is probably a door, too, this over here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Door. Yeah. Door. Nice. This kind of has, like, this extends out a little bit, so it's like that those patios you walk mm. to walk oh. into places. Okay. That's a good setup. We should put on our sign, Handicap Accessible. <laughs> okay. Like a, a sign in the window. Yeah. Oh, there's a ramp. I think people will figure it out. <laughs> Marketing. That's valid. 
We'll put it out on any flyers that we have. Yeah, that works. Who's missing? Oh, yeah. Let's put him in uh, that cellar. Oh, uh, no. In the cellar. He took the spare room. Okay. Oh, Frederick's still here. Well, yeah, he went to sleep and didn't wake up. He got oh, stolen. He got Remember, stolen. he got stolen with the barbarian. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, we should save him at some point. Yeah. Or at least steal stuff. Both. So I'm going to check the mail, wherever that is. Do we have a like an official mailbox? Yes. Uh, just outside the door. All right. And on the floor. There's a package. Uh-huh. Oh, man. I'll pick up the package and I'll check the box if we, you know, like a, for letters. Is it big? Uh, like a box, like an Amazon box. Right, is but it, like, is it big? Is, is it ticking? No. Is it meaty? Mm, I can do it has a, a little weight to it. it. It has a little bit of weight so to it. So it's a nice, hefty package? Mm-hmm. I'm going to... So we're going to take this big, hefty package inside? Doing a perception before I take it inside, 11. You uh you, <laughs> you look at it and you see it says uh, Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Welcome. All right, I'll take that and any letters inside. Do you grab it? We've got mail, guys. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if you said that right. We've got mail. You've got mail. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, okay. <laughs> I'll pop it open. Damn it. All right, so you grab it, you open it up, it says welcome. It explodes and we all die. Welcome to a new, welcome, welcome to, you know, opening up your new business. Okay. That's nice of them. Different flyers and such. Yeah, different flyers, different. Um, it, you now know that there are other. It kind of tells you of other businesses around you. So inside there, I assume there's a like a either a piece of paper or a piece of paper and a plaque that gives you the yeah. official. Yeah. Pretty much, there's a plaque in there at the bottom. All right. Yeah, you know, that lets you open up the business. Pull that out. And it says you must hang this, you know, somewhere in your business. Right. That way they know that you're official. Does it also have like an occupancy rating on it? Uh, they're not that good at it. <laughs> All right. It just uh, it just says welcome and make sure you hang this that you, you know, official. Should we put it right above the bar? Like on the wall. Back here. So you can see it from the bar. Yeah. We are certified. I'll, uh, and then we'll it, it, there's a paper the that reminds you to make sure you pay your taxes every month on your okay. sales. Tax amount. How hefty is the taxing? Uh, since you're starting off, they're just hitting you with 5% right now. Okay. Yeah, I would hate to get hit with those Illinois taxes. Oh, luckily, yeah. luckily you're not in Illinois, so they're not hitting you with those taxes. I'm going to take but one of are, my bolts they, and you form it or whatever into a thing so I can hang it. Cool. So your plaque is now hanging on the wall. 
And you're just reminded once you start opening up that in the first month, start paying. Well, the sales tax would be based on sales, but I assume there's other taxes. Oh, okay. no, we got the sales tax and we got our guild tax. All right. What was the guild tax? I think that was 10%. Of sales? Yep. Yeah, it was of sales, so what we bring in. All right. Oh, there's still a lot. Yeah, because we got a total of 15% of what we oh, com- uh, send out combined, yeah, is what we got to pay. Well, it's better than any type of other type of tax that would. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that that's the amount that Jimmy takes out of every franchise, so that's fair, I guess. Mm. Now, all you guys, uh, do a quick roll for me. What kind of roll? Uh, perception. L. I'm on. Sorry. No, no problem, man. You're also going to be able to hear this because you're upstairs. Sixteen to twelve. Galleon is distracted by a sunbeam. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, Galleon's doing his own stuff. So, one of the guards walks back in. Don't mind that noise. Just some guy, some asshole came over here trying to collect money. We got him out of here, though. Oh. What Good do shit. you look like? Yeah, just your local thug. Oh, cool. Do you want us to go kill him, or is that, like, from... No, nah, we took care of it, guys. Don't worry. That's what I'm telling you. Don't worry about that noise you heard out here. Oh, okay, appreciate cool. Thanks. your help. We tossed that bald guy out of here. Okay. Hmm. Did we ever see any bald guys? I looked at Yeah, I, re- I remember some sort of bald guy. I don't rem- remember everything about it, but I do remember a bald guy. He was with that super nasty guild. Yeah, I do believe. Xanathar? Xanathar? Yep. You got it. No. Is it? Yeah, remember that's the one where, you know, we shot an arrow and, you know, blasted him and whatnot? Oh, you're right. Those bad guilds. Oops, sorry. Just grab some more sausage. I'm out of here. No problem. Hey, this is pretty convenient. I'd say to the two. I'd yeah. say ten percent's a decent fee for full time guards, you know? Yeah, yeah, this is not bad. All right, guys. So you guys are eating the food. Uh Hofstetter woke up a little late. Morning, afternoon, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> it's no morning. Neither do we. It's morning. Cool. Did you see our guards, Hofstetter? Oh, neat. I don't have to worry about being on fire anymore. Yeah, and they Good. actually kicked out a, another guild guy trying to hit us up for money. So that's convenient. I'm all right with that. Did the mail have any applications in it? No. Nothing yet. Nothing has been sent to you yet. What Is there are any junk mail? Going? Uh, a lot of it's pretty much junk mail, advertisements. Uh, the, you know, some escort services and... Whoa. Hey, we could do that. Escort you know, people, you know. Sure. Escort missions are a thing. It could mean that. It could mean 
various things. Other ones just talk about come and check out our our restaurant, come and check out our weaponry, new places that are all starting to up here or open up here. Does the letter have any type of printed by, made by on it? No. Okay. Because we might want to do some type of advertising. Uh, if you head out to the, I believe the marketplace has a uh, printers, uh, mailers. Yeah. You can uh, hear the you can hear the chickens and a rooster out there. Early morning. Don't know where it's coming from, but everybody has a rooster out there. So I say to the crew, we can't officially start until we get employees, but uh, should we do some type of pre-opening opening? Or just try to do something else in the meantime? You mean like a soft opening? Yeah. We, we would have to be the ones, you know, staffing it, but... Otherwise, we can just Wait. go and do our thing. Um, we asked the ghost about he wants to be our like. The ghost I mean, he, he should be than, the manager. It's more than cooking. Well, I don't know about manager. Like, I don't know how well he'd do at like handling actual staff, but like as the like serving food and drink to people, I think he does a great job. Yeah, we could always we could always say that we have the food magically appear to people instead of saying it's a ghost. You know what I mean? We have magic service. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. oh God, our service is magical. <laughs> <laughs> Just coined the official service so fast you'll think a ghost brought your food to you. Looks like Saturn. No, wait. What's Service the Jimmy so John's phrase? No. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what his phrase is. We could is. call it spooky fast instead of freaky fast, but dear yeah. God, do I not want that. <laughs> we could do spooky fast. I'm, I'm Sounds pretty good. That. And that way we would have, it would take, uh, we, would, we would need less staff. It depends on if the ghost wants to do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, he's well, been doing it for everybody, ghost. so I'm he's pretty been sure. He's doing it for us. I don't know if he'd want to do it. For well, no, he he, he did it. Ask. He did it for the guards too. Our guards, our bouncers. That's true, but they are also providing a service for the building. I don't know. We'll ask the ghost. Is yeah, we could ask. Can't hurt to ask. We're gonna ask. Here you go. Okay. Uh, is this some type of a role situation or is it like story based? Uh, it's gonna be story. So as you look into the the mirror, you know, go ahead. What are you gonna ask the the mirror? Hard to really take this one. Um. So for when we open. <laughs> you be willing to handle serving the drinks to customers? Like, you can take the orders or whatever and you serve them or like, if you just want us to do like, play up the whole ooh, it's magic thing and have people shout out their orders and have you serve it to them, would that be something you'd be okay with doing or should we find another way to serve customers? As you look through the mirror, his image appears. And you see a tear come down his face. As he now comes out of the mirror. Walking towards you. Whoa. Oh, cool. And looks, looks around. Looks at the whole place. How beautiful it looks. 
as another tear comes down his face. And then he gives you a hug. I get to hug a ghost? Awesome. Does he really hug us? Or is it feel the hug? Just yeah. a, a it, you, you feel a cold hug. You feel like, you know... Like it's, I, I will hug him back as best as I can. Uh, your hands are going to go through him, but you can feel, you know... Overhand. Overhand. Uncomfortable? He just looks around very happy and goes, thank you for restoring her. Now he speaks for the first time. It's all I ever wanted for this place to come back and be alive again. You guys done it. I can now be in peace. I knew this was coming. He's going to disappear. Thank you. Thank you all. For restoring her. I give you this. Each one of you gets an experience, gets now an inspiration token to use at any time. A plus three. A plus three. So I got two. Yep. Use it for yourselves, or use it for to help somebody at any point. Can we use two at one time? You can use two <laughs> at one time to inspire. To it's your token. All right. He's he's thanking you for what you've done. Cool. As he now walks back, you see the mirror light up behind him, and he walks back in and disappears. So did he ever actually answer my question? I think that was a no. I think he's moving on. So basically what you're saying is no more free food or drinks. Pretty much. But our friendly goes. He's gone. Yep. Oh. Poof. Fuck. All right, I guess we have to find a cook and a bartender. Server. Yeah. I mean, are we actually yeah. going to sell food here? Uh, I would assume that we want, we want people to, I mean, we'd make more money selling tavern, food yeah. as well. Yeah. What are we'd the odds more, this, this we'd make more money, you know, have anything go bad. We'd make more money selling, you know, people services as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, we were going to put up a thing for like, uh, people to post their, like, problems that need to be solved. Well, I was, you know, I was talking about something else. Yeah, I know. But I figured I'd gloss over that. <laughs> um, if we have any spare rooms we can hire someone and then sell them rental yeah. No. Well, I was planning on, I was hoping that we would use uh, a, a, a vacant room for, you know, Here's service. Uh, I don't know. It'll be our services room. <laughs> Let's try and keep this above board. It, it is legal. It is perfectly legal to do. Remember, we found this out. It may be frowned upon, but it is legal. There's nothing against I, the law about it. Right, but like also if you keep that stuff in the red light district, you don't, you hey, don't put we, that in the regular town part. We are we are in the shitty district. No, no, no. Yeah, we are. Shitty. We're in the, the red light district. 
you this go to the red light like district this. for that. There's just a, see any red lights outside? I'm just saying we're gonna have a lot of people here drinking and whatnot, and it would be good to have services here as well. We could make a lot of extra money. Respectfully disagree with that assessment. How about you guys get this place going? Yeah. Then consider the options. <laughs> yeah. You can always yeah. start your own business. You can always um upgrade later? Yeah, okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be here. It can be a place you buy. <laughs> anyway. Start this place up as a tavern, which generally would, suit, would f- serve food and drink. Yeah. All right. So, what do you guys want to do today? Should we look for our two useless comrades? Uh, Probably they did take them. Let's at least go find Frederick. We They're at the same spot. What good are they? Uh, God, man, you're really pulling me on this one. Um, <laughs> um, well, Frederick's Frederick, a wizard. He, he has stuff we could take from him? No, we like Frederick. Yeah. He might wake up eventually. I didn't say we were going to kill it. him or anything. I said we, his stuff might disappear. Maybe the people who took him took his stuff, too. I don't know. I'm fine going and kind of. finding them just to uh, take care of the problems the in the city. Or, or we can go to the windmill and go do more, figure out what this key is about. Yeah. The more. windmill to the wall? <laughs> I don't even remember that one. Or if, uh, we have to, or if we have to go look if anybody needs components for spells or anything. Oh, yeah. We were going to look into that. But while I'm uh, here in, inside of the tavern, I need to go look for, see if we have any cheap cups. Any what? Cheap cups and something to carry some water in. Uh, check the kitchen, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, what, um, shit, do, do we have, like, fucking, uh, I'm blanking on the name of, um, but, like, the things people carry water around in? Uh, canvases? Yes. Like the little... Uh, or a water bag? Water bag. Yeah, yeah, a water skin? Or... Uh, water skin. Uh, there you go, water skin. I was about to say bladder? Yeah, yeah, bag. like something... Yeah, that's, I mean, that's usually what they were made um, of. Do we have any... That would be part of your adventure kit, if you pulled it out of it. Okay. okay. Because I'm that's... That, like... would, that would be part of your... If you use one of your charges. Okay. Because, like, I would definitely fill one up with alcohol. Probably for the same thing that he wants. No, it's not what I... I, I was just going to try to get freaking what I need for one of my spells cheaply. Oh. Is it false uh, life? Huh? Is it false life? No, it's freaking uh, armor of Agassi. Oh, armor of Agassi. Okay. Yeah, I just need, you know, a thing full of alcohol for false life that I'm doing. You might have to go pick one up since I don't think anybody has one of them. So you're going to use a charge. I I could use a charge or we can go try to just go buy one. But while we're here, do we have any cheap cups so I don't have to buy cups? Uh, Yeah, you got some cheap cups in the kitchen. All right. I'm going to grab me freaking five of them cheap cups. All right. Uh, you go ahead and grab them. They're, they're kind of like made out of wood. Yeah, all, all I need is a cheap, any, any type of cheap cup. You know, they're, they're a bit dirty. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to drink out of them. <laughs> all right. So you put these onto your book bag, your backpack. All right. What is this? Where is that coming? 
You guys are still at your uh, troll skull area, mm -hmm. unless you're planning to leave that area. Mm, so, with the guy over here, I think carries different type of stuff. You might be able to get like your water bladder and whatnot from. Yeah, plus, like, we're going to stop back there because we asked about, uh... Ha! Ah, my Explorer's Pack does just come with a water skin. It's still raining? Yeah. Just okay, since, day. since my Explorer's Pack comes with a water skin, I'm just going to replace the water in it with whatever alcohol we have on hand. All right, so put down, you know, water skin has alcohol in it. Uh, what is it, a one liter one, I think? Uh, it just I thought it was like one gallon. Yeah, so let's just say yeah. you're carrying a liter of it with you, a gallon. Cool. I know it's two different measurements. Yeah, two wildly different measurements. Wild. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I All right, let, let, let's, just, let's just say a liter. Let's go with a liter. Okay. I'm thinking. It's I'm thinking of Coca-Cola. It's cool. False life only only requires a small amount of alcohol. So. All right, got it. Uh huh. I noticed my armor class dropped down to ten for some reason. I don't know what. How the hell that happened? Maybe I typed it in wrong. I don't remember how I calculated that. I think I had six. Crap. I know you're I not shield. It was. Oh, cost. That's not a calculated thing, is it? Uh. No. It is a thing, but probably fucking up. Oh god, it moved everything around. Why? On my screen, everything's all jumbled. Mm. I had to get out of what I was using before. Mm. I can see you chain flipping around in there. Yep. I'm trying to see if I can fix it so I can look at it better. Yeah. All right, we'll take a look at that uh, later. I want, yeah, I think you were higher than that. I think you were like yes, around. definitely. Like 13, weren't you? I think he was 16. 16. Yeah, 16 sounds about. All right. Well, uh, your What just... armor are you? You have a shield. Yeah, that's I what I was going to look at. Armor. Oh. Okay. Uh, scale, scale armor. That should be a plus two, I think, right? I'm just wondering if it's a calculated field or it's what it somehow changed it accidentally. Uh, you can change it. Like, it's both calculated and that's probably what happened when I added. Because uh... your shield, unless you say you're equipped, then you get the. Other than that. Well, those That's ones. A good way to make. Yeah. Uh, scale is. 14 plus dex modifier. Oh, I did change my dex. I added a point. So probably recalculated, but it's weird. It's not including the scale armor and the shield. 
because those are in items. I don't know if there's somewhere somewhere else to put them. So you got zero dex mod. So that's a uh, yeah. You're sitting at a fourteen then. And then plus his shield would put him back up to sixteen. I'll type it in there, but it's gonna change whenever I change the main skills. Looks like. Hey. So I did add plus one dex and then plus one wisdom. That's probably what changed it. Probably. What are the, what is your dex? It's a 10 now. Oh, okay. So yeah. I have, instead of negative one, I have a zero dex. Nice. Yeah, so no at least when anymore. I do initiative, I can not have negative one do it. <laughs> yep. Now, if you roll a one on initiative, it's a it's a one and not a zero. Yeah, pretty much. So it's morning. You can't really see the sun. It's still raining out here. It's still shitty out here. The streets are a little more muddier than usual. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go cost this friend's place. There are puddles of water. So we're going to go up here to the book book rim? Yep. Bookworm. Bookworm. Okay. Yep. To meet up with uh, Rashil. Yes. I'll knock. Got many of the things we'd ask him about. Are you going to knock through the back door? Sure. Who's that? Okas. Ah, buddy. Come on in. Uh, you might want to. You might want to wipe your feet, though. Uh, it's been ugly out there the last couple of days. Take my shoes what? off. Uh, oh, that's polite. Of you. I will also remove my shoes. I see you don't get this kind of politeness. Out. Galleon, what do you do? I'll follow suit. And Oka, uh, Hofstetter? I'll follow along. Much appreciated. Man! Yeah, someone taught somebody manners. Oh, they had it. They've, they've got their manners. Oh, you've been kind to no. us. Uh, I, I have here in my book, uh, somebody was asking for uh, a stick that lightning went. Who is that? Y'all don't that, have to. That the, was that the wizard? <laughs> no, that was me. I don't know. Some one of you guys asked for a stick lightning. It was me. Well, your luck with the uh, storm going through here. We were able to fire it. Wait. So a nice little lightning strike hit out right outside the city and uh, tore up a tree, but I went had somebody collect the the, the little pieces. All right, cool. So I, so I know I, I got this. What else were you asking? Uh, um, shit. What were we asking about? Um, this was just running a couple silver, so it was like two silvers. All right, cool. Um, don't fucking leave me alone, Windows Update. What's this Windows? It's telling me to restart and update my computer, but every time I click it, it doesn't update my computer. Oh, so Windows it's just 10? Yelling. Yeah. So that's been fun. Okay, so I have the thing for false life. Unseen servant is just a piece of string and a bit of wood. I don't care about it. Uh, that's the witch bolt. All right, while he's talking to himself, anybody else? Uh, I was looking for some. Do you have any water skins hanging around oh, here? Oh, well, yeah. There you go. There you go. It's like, uh, oh, that one's five. It says five silver. All right, sweet. That's five silver. I'm going to buy two of them. You think? Two of them? Well, yeah. I got, I'll take two of them, too. I got two right. of silver. Um, do you have 
A diamond worth... Diamond worth... 50 gold. Hmm. Hmm. At least. It can be a little bit bigger. That's fine. It's just... Hmm. How many silver and a gold? He goes... He goes, he looks down, pulls out a bunch of gems. Good. How much does it have to be worth again? Uh, 50 gold. At least. You got 50? Some... He goes, he looks at you, goes, you got 50 gold? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, now it's worth 50 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Can I inspect this diamond? Sure. How much is this diamond actually worth? Yeah, you gave it the price. Well, can I... Would that be investigation or perception to try and actually in, determine in, its worth? Investigation. How much uh, is this thing actually worth? It's, a, it's actually a rare diamond. He just didn't know he had it. Cool. Yeah, I'll hand him the. I'll hand him. I'll hand him the fifty gold. No, it's extra money now. <laughs> now I'm assuming cool. these water skins came with water in them already. I'm going to assume. Well, there's water outside, and there's a puddle right <laughs> over there. Okay. Uh... So. How much is this diamond worth so I know for just typing it in in my thing? Oh, it's like 70. It's like what? 70. Okay, cool. I'm really glad Chromatic Orb doesn't eat the diamond. Yeah. That would be depressing. Ah, uh, what about you, my furry little friend? I'm not in strong need of anything at the moment. Okay. You got a quiet one. I mean, for the moment, yes. <laughs> How about any more? Uh, do you have any more health pots going along here? Any what? Uh, health pots. Uh, I I've set up the requirement for full pots right now. We're trying to see what we can get. Yeah, but I still got a couple of half ones if you're looking. What was the what was the difference between both of them? Uh, one d eight and one d four. And the price? Uh, actually, hold on, I gotta actually gotta pull that one back up again for. Really? Where the hell did I put it? Oh, those are 20 gold. 20 gold for a full or half? Half. Can I uncast Persuade and see if I can persuade and sell me two for 20? Like we on the streets, yo. What's the DC on that? What persuasion? Yeah. It's just I'm not using suggestion. I'm using persuasion. Oh, you're trying to persuade him? Yeah. You're trying to bring down the price? Yeah, I'm see if I can get two for twenty. Like we was on the street, you know what I mean? Get two for twenty. Go ahead. I did. Mother? 15. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, you're polite enough. 
think uh, of shoes and not run all that mud through my place. I try to be res- as respectful to my friends. So I'll cut your deal this. Oh, I thank you kindly. You know, these aren't cheap to get. I know, we're bringing you uh, more business. Go, there we go. Psst. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Come over here. I'll walk over. Heard, uh, heard you ran into the, uh, nice little, uh, you know, at the church. The church? Yeah. Dragon Hussy. I thought, uh, we decided they were bad. No, the Dragon Hussy at the church, remember? You smelling the pheromones, you remember? Mm, I do not recall. The female dragon when we went to talk about the detonator thing and everything. My character is playing dumb. Uh, oh, okay. I smell you a little more different now. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. No, she we- might have uh, run into some, uh, you know. You just smell different today. Yeah, I did uh, meet someone, I guess. Oh, nice. Although her employer, whatever he is, he screwed us over. What? If that's the one I'm thinking of. The for- wasn't it the Forge Guild thing? Or the- yeah, yeah. The Forge. I'm pretty sure that guy screwed us over. Oh, you keep going after that thing, all right? Sure. You seem a little more uh, smiley. <laughs> Your scent changed, though. Okay, then. You look a little more shinier today. <laughs> like your scales are glowing a bit. Yeah, it's. Is all calls okay? I am lightning based. All right, well, catch y'all later. Bye. Oh, that was awkward. <laughs> you all put on your shoes. Her boots. Oh, you got it. Yeah, footwear. Footwear. Can I do a perception on that little talk? Insight? Or insight. Yeah, that'll work. Go ahead. So I'm trying to see if he's interested in her. 18. Uh, You can tell that he knows that you're you're interested in, in her with you can tell that he doesn't have interest in it. Hmm. Okay. He's just, you know, being a buddy too. Yeah, all right. Because there's like very few options, I assume, and he's not. Okay. He's not in the mating, <laughs> you know, it's not his right. mating. Whatever the heck Dragon Lord do. Mm-hmm. What? But he noticed that you were, your scales are starting to shine a little bit more. So you ran into a, a female that you're interested. In. So you're, <laughs> you're, 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 
your scent is a little more different. Mm. Your scales are starting to. Nobody else can see these details except for the dragon. Right. I'm especially electric. He, he's an he's an older dragon boy. Okay. Yeah, a lot older than you are, so he can tell. I'm higher charge. How's that? <laughs> now, you all head outside. Where do you want to go to? I'm going to fill up my skins with some water while I'm outside. Uh, from the rain or from the... From the rain. From the rain. Right, all right. So you're just sitting out there with your paws trying to catch water as it's it's slightly raining outside. Like a drizzle right now. As long as you leave it open, it'll fill it. Okay. Or you see some windmill? You see some water coming off like the edge of the building if you want to grab it from like off the roof. Okay. So you can fill it up a little more fast. And look at him and say, well, we could stop at the tavern if you need to, real quick. I was filling up real quick. Should we go to the windmill thing? Sure. All right. You remember on your map that he put the location where the windmill was at? So you take a little bit of time to get over there. Uh, I think it was in the southern quarter, the windmill. I would have to see the map. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're still on the alley. So you guys head over. I'm trying to pull it up right now. Let me get you. You guys arrive to this big windmill. It is roughly... You tell it's roughly like two stories high. The windmill piece on top. You can tell that it's been abandoned too. Hello? Yeah. Uh, uh, mostly black screen. I think Wait. Offsetter is the one with the key. If this is the place. Oh right. Okay. I handed it off to you. I will. I, I weapon ready. Right. The uh, the blue are the doors. We can't see. It's we see a little bit, but it doesn't change when we move to towards. Oh, uh, it's not. I have to. I have. It's not dynamic. Okay. I have to manually open it up. Oh, fun. I'll show you the doors, and then you just decide, go put yourself by that door. I know it's where you're going. The doors are blue. Okay, I'm going to give guidance to someone that wants to look at the doors. That's the best uh, role for that. All right. What you would have a plus two? Would that be investigation? I have a plus three to investigation. Well, these yeah, are wooden. Plus five. These oh, are wooden same. doors. The uh, outside. Uh, go ahead and roll for me, real quick. See what you're invest. What you see in your investigation? Who who's rolling? Uh, someone has higher investigation, so. Someone do it. Uh, 
That'll do it. Add plus two. No, oh, well, 25 then. Shit. There is graffiti on the walls. These wooden doors, some of these wooden doors look like they're barely holding on to the door, the hinges. Uh, Does either this, one have any... This, the smell is like musty smelling that's coming out by the right by the doors. But both, uh, they're both exactly the same. Yeah, uh, the pretty much, it looks like there's no locks on it. Just push them and they'll open. Okay. Left. Choose wise. I already did. All right. Left it is then. All right. As you push that door open, you get, you get, oh, who, 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 huh? Who's there? Uh, cast light. Who, who's there? Oh, you woke me up. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, hey. So if you want to sleep right over there across from me, you can, man. That's still open. Nobody's come to sleep here yet. So if you just oh, want to, like, just, you know, if you're just looking for a spot, like, right over there, man. Okay? like This sounds like a crack house. Me? Yeah, it sounds I, like hobos. Look, me, I, my, my name is Billy. I see. Yeah, Do you just, have any information about this place? You're, you're kind of loud, man. They're trying to sleep over here. Do you have any information about this place? Ah, yeah. Well, I thought you knew about this place as you came to sleep here. We're ah. just trying it out. Who's we? My friends. Oh, you guys are trying to sleep? Look. My recommendation is I know there's some rooms down the hallway. I know nobody sleeps right by the um, toilet area. That room, if you all, if you got like, you know, a couple people, you can go sleep in that room. Okay. Uh, but it's going to, it's going to smell a little bit, just FYI. Are you that? But you, if you and your friends want to go sleep over there, that's fine. It's first come, first serves. Are, Are you guys supposed to be here? Uh, you know, nobody's here, so we just... I'm walking out. Take it over. All right. Okay. I'll, Bye, I'll see you later. As I, uh, these guys are illegally staying here. They're doing bad stuff. I think we should evict them. Let's just leave, leave them, them for me. now. We're not the police. I'm going to check this other door. I thought you were going to shank that dude, but I mean, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, well, I think right that they're doing illegal stuff. We should, you know. Mm, I'm not going to help They're just that. homeless people. It's So I go into the other one. Mm-hmm. I have the light on. Uh, some of these places are lit. Places are not lit. Okay. I touched my uh, weapon with it, so the okay, that's glowing. So, so you're leading the front, right? Sure. All right. So you come up to another another room, also pretty tall, pretty wide, and another door. That's mm-hmm. just you could see it moving when you opened up the door. It kind of like a little bit of air pressure so move the door left so you can just not really lock does anyone want to take point sure oh, well i mean you can have the cleric go first i'm fine with it but yeah i'll do it i feel very alert today you feel alert <laughs> do you have to enable that or is it like a no, it's, it's a feat, so it's always gone. As, yeah, as long as I'm conscious, I cannot be surprised. People don't get advantage on me if I don't them. 
uh, my initial plus 10. And... Oh, man. Yeah, so I'm probably... Yeah, feel free to go first, then. <laughs> so, yeah. Lead. Give me Going. one second. I'm just fixing something I forgot to add. I'm just adding something to the map here. Mm -hmm. The yuck. There we go. I'm trying to represent stuff a little more. All right, so uh, Adderall's going in first. Yep. Are you kicking the door or are you just peeking in? Uh, again. All right, you can see that there's a hallway that leads to the right. All right. I'll slowly open the door more. Through it. You can see it down the hallway, and then you can see that it goes to the right. And you can see what looks like possibly another door. I'm going to stealth my way that way. Uh, roll for stealth. Oh, yeah. Nobody hears you. You're slowly moving. Perfect. You run across the next door. And then as you enter that one, you can see that there's a long hallway. Okay. And another door. And then... Uh, it kind of smells a little... Funky, as you continue to go up the hallway. Okay. Smells a little off. Like around here? Or like... Yeah, you can smell like right in that area. Okay. It smell like something I've smelled before? Um, yeah, starting to smell like shit. <laughs> Good chance, you yeah. See, I well, think these people here are yeah. vandalizing a place that's not theirs. As you come up there to the left, you see a set of staircases. Go upstairs, searching this level. Let's go up. Yeah. Aaron agrees to go up. So, sure. what a or we like? What if we secured this level first? It's kind of quiet. It's hard to hear what you're saying. What if we like secured this floor first so that we made sure there wasn't anyone coming up behind us? That's fine. You're the scout. Okay. So real quick, I just want to check out these other doors first. Which door are you going to check out? The top one or the right one? Uh, the one at the end of the penis. The right one? Yes. The one I'm at. All right. Do yeah. a constitution saving throw. Well, like, I was just checking it out, like, but, okay. Constitution? Ooh. 12. Uh, you end up throwing up. Okay. Uh, there's a hole in the, towards, in that room. And that uh, is where the smell is coming from. Cool. Uh, make sure that's, that's, that's where they poop. Hit out. <laughs> uh, I'll fit. Um. The other door. All right. Yeah, let's try this door. Don't worry, you only uh, you is there a door just right a little here bit. Too? You only took one point. Okay. So, which door are you walking to? I'm saying, is this a door to here too? Uh, that's no, that's that's another door. Oh, he means this thing. No, that's a door with on the other side of the wall. 
you can't access. Okay. Uh, what about what about this door? All right. So you I realize the that door that door is open. That door is open. So you want to walk in there? You want to? What do you want to do? Peek in there. Uh, all right. You're still going stealthily, right? Yes. All right. So as you peek in there, you can see that there's two people arguing. Uh, do I recognize them? Uh, nope. Okay, what do they look like? Uh, it looks like they're wearing rags. Both of them are pretty much wearing rags, yeah. Okay, and I'll just quietly leave and just be like, Join today to get your first breakfast free at Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to skip this one. Oh, is that another door? Another, yeah. another door? If you can get close to it. Uh, someone else can check out that door. <laughs> <laughs> uh,. Do clerics have any type of ability to not? No, you don't. You have to do a saving throw. I have medicine. Plus six. So what type of thing do I have? Constitution. Oh. The minute you walk to open up that door, the other door, there was a gust of wind somehow that came through there right across for you. Mm. Uh, yeah, you uh, you kind of went down to the floor and threw the hell up all mm. over the place. The lovely home. Uh, only three points of... Uh... Okay. I'll back off. I'll crawl back away. <laughs> and I'll say there, there's another obstacle over there so you probably don't want to we can leave that one maybe okay. so you're super enthusiastic alright let's just go upstairs then alright everybody heading upstairs This is the upstairs. I guess that. So as you guys head to the upstairs, you see you check the first doorway. See that there's three doors. One of them is lit. The one down the the hall, the, the one down the furthest is lit underneath. You can see light from underneath the door. Um, and The door to the left has like a lot of stuff, like a lot of clothes stuffed into the bottom, the sides, and the top. And then one sheet going over. A sheet over it? Yeah. What quality is the clothes? Uh, right. Garbage? Uh huh. Okay. That's 
What are y'all doing? Uh, so wait, was this one he checked? The right one or the left one? Uh, the left one is the one that's fully sealed. So this one has clothes in it? No, no, no. The left one is the one that has clothes. Oh, okay. Underneath it, stuffed in the sides, stuffed on the... Uh, and has a sheet over it. Part of me doesn't want to fuck with that. Part of me wants to fuck with that. Go for it. I'm going to hold my breath mm -hmm. and then walk over and like try and find a way to open the door. Uh, how are you going to open up the door? We'll remove like the clothing from it. Figure it's... out if it's locked. All right. Who else is in the room with him? We're all in here, but not okay. so close. If he, he would be here, we would be where we are. Uh, as he's taking off the pieces of clothes, you guys, everyone's getting hit with smell. Okay. If I notice that, even holding my breath, I'm going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> You know it's bad when it's so smelly that you take damage. Yeah. Put those clothes back where they were. Well, this is shitty. Mm -hmm. uh, probably literally, yes. Yes. That was the joke. Um, um. Let's go check out another door then, I guess. That awesome. one. All right, which door? That I'm one. I'm gonna check out. I'm I'm checking out the door I'm at. All right, the door you're coming up to has light. You can see that they, there's somebody. Somebody. You go. You can see that there's lights. Like there's a candle lit inside of that door. Um. Can I peek in and see if I can see who's in there without uh, them seeing me? Stealth check again. Uh, you go to turn the knob and you realize it's what this door is keeps cutting off right at the end yeah oh, I said this door is locked oh locked okay well that's to... not my area of you went to turn it and you heard <laughs> You made yeah. a noise trying to open up the door. I'll steady. I will. Try the key. There. I'm going to, yeah. before he does that, I'm going to that... stand here and get my crossbow like an action. Can I do that pre action thing? If I see anything? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Dangerous. Pre, you can, you can pre, uh, pre set. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to. Right. That's why I weaponed ready as soon as I'm inside of here. You're still on the stairs. You're on the stairs, just so you know. Well, I didn't know that those were stairs. All right, so you're just going to open up the door regularly? Uh, Hoff slowly. Hofstetter? Slowly, with a great deal of caution and hands on. Roll me a stealth check, then. Do you have that magic hand thing? I do. I can do it from, like, five feet away. Well, 30 feet away. So I'm going to do it from 30 feet away. <laughs> I'll Early stand 15. here instead so I don't shoot him. There's the cell check. No, no, you make no sound opening up that. You open it up all the way? Uh, Yes. As you open it up all the way, you glimpse inside and you can see that there's two people turned away from the doorway. And they're they're both going back and forth. I told you, we shouldn't have taken the job. We shouldn't have done it. 
Yeah, but he pays us well. So, money. We gotta start watching out what we do nowadays. You know, one day it might end up getting us killed or something. I know, I know, but but the money, it's good. It's getting better and better every day. Ah. Well, I, well, at least the boss will be happy. Paid us a good amount for what we found. We'll be alright for a while. Till the next one, anyways. As one of them slowly turns around and sees the doors open and there are four people looking in. Hello. Uh, uh, we have a problem. Very pointy things are looking at us right now. What pointy things? As he turns around with the money, he looks, uh, drops the money on the floor. Uh, puts his hands up. Stop uh, right there, criminal scum! Uh, oh shit! How did the how did the guards find us? Yes, we are guards. We are after you. Roll to see if uh you persuade him that you are the guard. I would deceive him that I'm the guard. Yes, that would be that that thing you're doing. Yep. He, uh, they believe that you guys are the guards. Going, uh, uh, look, um, uh, those graves are from our ancestors. Uh, we were just getting the stuff that I was in the will. I'm gonna move up as they're talking. Likely story. Uh, uh, look, guys, uh, I'm willing to give you guys at least, you know, five gold apiece to, you know, look Did away. You give the thing to someone. Uh, you're, you're talking about what we found in the, exactly. the little. Uh... That's what we're looking That's what we heard. We're oh. here to recover. I'm going recover look, okay, okay. This. So, how about this? How about this? I got a deal for you guys. Uh, my brother agrees. You know, we we just we like to be free guys. Uh, so, in exchange for your our cooperation with you fellow uh, guardsmen, uh, you know, you let us free. You let us, you know, give us free. Are you trying to bribe us? No, never. You're we, trying we to are, bribe us. Our law abiding. You are just compounding. Your crime. I am confiscating this, and I'll pick up the bag of coin that he dropped. Doctor, but... We need to know. And you two are who... coming with us. We need to know who you gave that thing to. Well, your partner here doesn't want to negotiate. We can work out some sort of deal for lessened jail time if you give us the information we need. How but about no jail time? That depends the, on what you give us. The bag is, you know, 50-50 in the bag. No, 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 that's not what I mean. I mean information. If you, you give us, like a big-name guy, for us to turn in, that's a very reduced jail sentence to probably just, you know, community service. How about we, how about we go like this? No execution if you give us the information. Whoa, 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 the guards actually, come on. So it's like, we all good that. cop, average cop, and terrible cop. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's like, it's, it's by the books, good cop, nice cop, and bad cops. Yeah. Uh, then we have... He, look, he looks over, he, he looks over at the at Okos. You look like you're a holy man. You know that guards don't Oh, That's up to the executioner. This is important. We need to know who you gave the item to. I'm glad to share this information as long as our safety and our freedom 
and some coins, which are all in favor. Which of these guys? I mean, where, where this guy or this guy? Uh, the one in black. One in guy black is the one talking. Yeah, he's like, I will give you what you require as long as we both understand. All right, I attack and, and kill this one. How? I'm going to cut him. I'm, I'm dual wielding. I'm going to double attack. Like you're just stabbing both of them? Not both of them. Just him. To persuade him that he might want to talk. Using your special weapon? Using... I have two weapons. So, since I'm dual no, wielding... No, what, what two weapons are you dual wielding? With my pack, with my packed longsword and my dagger in the other hand. Checked out. That would be what you will. Um. Roll it for your damage. Damage or? Yeah. All right. One and then. Did we say six or eight for the shadow dagger? Six. Okay. Seventeen. As he's talking, looking at Okas, you come up to this one. You attack the white one, right? Yeah. All right, so you... You you attack the black one? The black one was talking. Yeah, the black one was the guy who was talking. I'm going to kill the guy who wasn't talking. Okay. The white one. Yes. All right, so you moved up behind him right here? Yep. So as he's trying to talk to Okos across, you come up behind the other one. And just jab him. Should he have his... some type of like thing to do it? Is that some what movement? Do you mean? It's like, I mean, is it an instantaneous movement or what? Yeah, he just went up to him and stabbed him while you guys were all conversating. Okay. Unless one of you guys wish to interfere right before he's about to stab him. I'll make an attempt. What would I roll for that? Uh, hmm. Strength to stop him? Would it be dex based? That would be something speedy. So yeah, dex probably. All right, you're going to go grip to stop him. Or athletics. Would it be a skill or a saving throw? No, not a saving throw. So it would be... You said acrobatics? Sure. Okay. Oof. You just barely, as his his first blow with his first weapon goes in, you grab his hand. Just whoa, whoa, as he's whoa, about, whoa, whoa. just as he's about to bring him to right to the. There's no need to do this. We just need information. How does an eleven stop me? <laughs> Well, he said he, he, you stabbed him once, right? Twice. No. He was going for two. You stopped the first one. Does the other guy do anything? The talker? Uh, uh, what the fuck? You need to you tell us serious. now. Tell us now before this guy goes crazy. Fine, the... fine, 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 fine. I didn't think you guys were this serious. Oh, he's leave, totally serious. Leave my brother. Le- leave my brother alive, please. You need to say it now. I, I, I will gladly, as long as you remove him. Move him yeah, away from me. I mean, me. I'm holding him, right? Okay. We gave it to this guy that, that hired us. He just wanted some bones for his rituals or whatnot. And he... He wears like this purple cloak. You'll 
look, um, sorry, I'm a little nervous. Uh, you'll find him in the sewers. Purple cloak in the sewers. You don't have a name. Well, sorry, your your guy here kind of startled me. I wasn't expecting uh, I wasn't expecting him to do what he just did. Lot to do. I'm straining. You want to do any type of roll to break my grip, or are you gonna stay there? I'm gonna already break the grip. I don't know what I got to roll to do that. I'm not. I'm not enjoying what I'm hearing. Strength. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> he says that. Oh, class, you feel a tug. Like he's pushing. And I said, hey, he, hey, he, hey. His, 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 his eyes open up. Uh, uh, lo, lo, sir, lo, lo, sir. Lo, sir. Uh, Mar, Marlovic? Marlick. Lo, He just wanted some bone. He just wanted some bones, and we we found the key, and he just paid us extra for the key. I don't know why he wanted it. I don't know what what he wanted with it. He just said, "Oh, oh," and then paid us extra. Sounds like a necromancer. Those guys are mm. dicks. Okay, just 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 leave us. Let us live, man. Look, we're we're just we're just trying to make our ends meet, man. I Let look. us be. Is everyone happy? I look Luther, Luther Marla. Marlick. Is that what you're saying? Marlick? Yes, Luther Marlick. Purple cloak in the sewer. He, wear, he wears a purple cloak. Okay, it, his the entrance to, to his place is right here. He points at the map. He tells you where it's at on the map. Is that a city map? Yeah. Is there any danger going down there? Like a traps? Look, the dude is crazy. All right. Who knows what he has down there? I don't know what he has down there, but he just likes a lot of dead shit. And I, I just, I just get it to him. I don't ask questions. I don't go down there. I just bring it, brings the money. We call it a day. I don't. I don't ask questions either. Yeah. How about you put that weapon down? Do I have to roll against this? Well, what is Gal- What's Galleon gonna do? I'm finishing off the fucking guy in the way. We already got. We can't leave witnesses. Why not? Oh, nine. No. Uh, yeah. The uh, your finger slipped, and his first blade went right through him. I'll fall back. I gave you the information. Why? I, I would like to know that too. As he stand there, yeah, composed like, and just watching. Why? Why did you just stab him? I'm very confused. I'm all for, like, you know, death to criminal scum and all that, but, like, if they're flipping on a bigger guy, cut them a deal for a re- incentive. That's they are, how it works. The incentive is I've over. I've watched enough Law and Order to know that. And I also know they could go warn that person a- after we leave. Well, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. Hmm. Are you going to take him with the second blade? Yes. As no one's stopping him, right? I'm prone. He comes, he stabs the side. You hear a loud yell, screeching sound as you see you see him kind of like jump up with his hands to the side as his skin goes gray. His eyeballs go to the back. What? Uh, okay, so he was not and alive. 
his body, his everything just goes from his color, his features, everything just starts to go away. And Galleon, you get to hear you status. Wow, feeding already. His soul is not great, but good. I smile and turn to the other guy. We're going to start a fight now? Like an initiative, or are we just going to? I don't think there's going to be much of an initiative. I know, I'm just saying. Just him. Yeah. <laughs> He's freaked out by what he just saw and jumps out of the window. I don't see no windows up here. Did you roll for this? Are you guys going to stop him from jumping out the window? Yes. We're going to stop him. How are you going to stop him? He would have the opportunity, at least. I'm going to freaking... The thing is, who would have the opportunity? Well, both of us, I would assume, because he just ran past both of us. Yeah. So I'm going to freaking cut him down before he gets to freaking jump by. So do I got to ro- roll that? Go ahead. Roll to see if you hit him. Oh boy, that's a good one. Did you throw something at him, or you just swung at him? It happens every Sunday. I well, it all depends. I can. Is he too far away for me to? to yeah, because he was on the other side here. I right, I'm just I'm just gonna throw my freaking my packed weapon at him and stab him with it. Your dagger? No, my packed weapon. Oh, your sword. Yes. Roll for damage. Yeah, roll your damage. He takes the the blade to the back. Hits the edge. And just lays there on his Still alive. Well, it's probably dead anyways. All right, can I, uh, since nobody's doing it, can I run up there and stab him with the other blade now? Anyone stopping him or just letting him do his thing? <sighs> well, I think we need to kill it because we just saw that the other one was a... Yeah, the animated, other one was... Animated. Yeah. How are you stabbing it? With the uh, with my dagger. How? Straight back. In, uh, is he laying straight on on his belly, or how's he like? No, he's on his knees. Oh, he's his on one his hand, knees. His one hand is over the window. Uh, I'm gonna stab him right in the back of his head. Okay, so you stab him in the back of the head. You don't have to roll for damage. Everyone gets to see this as a shadow comes out from the blade on the to the back of his head, and you can see the soul being sucked into the blade. Well, that's all you guys get to witness is this for the first time. Uh, What was that? That was weird, you know, that's wrong. You, Magic. You uh, took the right action there. I couldn't imagine they were reanimated. It looked so lifelike. 
No, you yeah. saw as the light as as a soul pulls being pulled into the blade. That's when the discoloration started happening on their body. I will deceive them that they were undead. Um. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> um. Hey. Well, if, if, if I if suppose an, if, 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 an, if an eleven could stop me from attacking them, a thirteen could, could deceive you. <laughs> well. I'm going to roll to see if I think you're full of shit. I do not think you're full of shit. I accept the... Okay, I guess they were undead. I don't know a whole lot about undead. Yeah, it seems legit. Would a cleric have any special ability to uh, understand necromancing or whatever? Uh, You? I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like for story reasons, I would believe him. And roll the insight. All right. But it's like <laughs> join us in our bad insight roll. <laughs> I'd probably want. Oh, it. someone knows. Okay. He didn't fool you, though. Mm. You're the only one. Yeah. They're the only that one sense. that did not believe him. Everyone else fell for it. Hmm. You're aware because you felt the evil when it first started. When it pulled their souls out? No, remember when he got the dagger first time? You felt evil oh. in the area. Hmm. And you felt this evil with us, but you couldn't understand it until now. Yeah. Now you understand why you always have felt that evil presence. Being the holy man. But it's just a mag- just a, a, a magic weapon. It still spews a bit of. Well, it depends on which which your god is. Magic weapons and magic weapons. I don't know. I have internal conflict then with. Uh... I will persuade him that it's just a magic weapon. <laughs> You already tried to. No, I deceived him. I tried to deceive him, but since he wasn't uh, so sure about it, I would try to persuade him that it's just me. Well, you didn't be his insult. I mean, there's nothing. I'm not going to do anything about it. He just knows that it wasn't. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, guess what, Dre? I used one of my tokens that added plus three to it. I mean, either either way, I'm not going to do anything about it. My well, I just number. used the plus three, so now you, you you believe it was magic. Yeah. Well, that all happened. It certainly did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you are missing one. You have one token left. Yep i i put i put it on there. Okay. I'll um. Check them. So, how much money is in this bag that uh? Yeah, I oh, we, uh, let me go check my rolls. Right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, that's just. You ended up with uh. They had paid him fourteen gold. That's, that's not much. it in an entire bag. Well, all they cared hey, about. He, he got he got paid extra though for the key, didn't they? Hold on. That's what they said. Hold on. I didn't roll the... What did I roll? Oh, the D6. My bad. D8. They must not have been too smart to... Three, four. Uh, seven, eight. And... Seventeen gold. Are there items on, on them? Yep. Did, can we check them for anything else? Uh, pretty much they just have their rags on them. They do have a uh, shovel. Two shovels. I'll take them. And a bag. What type of bag? What cheaply bought labor? We could 
like a book this bag. This is a class of citizens we could use to work our tavern. I don't think we would want, you know, the these undead working our tavern who do bad stuff. I mean, they did this shit for like fucking 17 gold. Like we can Yeah, well, whatever they were, uh, yeah, we need to now. deal with, we need to get whatever that item was. I don't even remember what it, what it uh, was going to do for us. We had to take it back to the freaking guild. And, well, no, we didn't take it. We got to go use it so we can go find the big treasure. Remember? The big treasure. And then we, and we do a, a freaking 70-30 split with the guild. So we're looking for the key, not the bones? Yes. Okay. I like that. And I would pick up the gold and spread it even, evenly amongst us. Oh, you want to split it. up 17 gold? You have one gold? Off. Four times. I'll give it right. to the. I'll, I'll get. I'll give the. Give the extra gold to the cleric for his troubles. <laughs> to ease, to ease <laughs> the trouble. To ease this troubled mind. Okay. I think it works that way. <laughs> um. So All what, right. So what you, is that? So you, so you guys are hit, leaving the, with the windmill, right? Are we splitting it, or is Arturo keeping it? Um, well, we can actually split it completely down to, like, fucking copper if we have to. If, if that's what we want to do. I'll just... Perfectly evenly. I'll, I'll count myself out of it. I don't care that much about a few silver. It's gold. Which I realize, irony. <laughs> Party Rogue does not care. About... Well, it'll be 4.25 per person. Right. So that'd be... Um, it's 25%. So that would be 4 gold, 2 silver, and 5 copper. Yeah. Is how that would work out. Alright, I'll put it in there. If everyone's okay with... Yep. All right. Okay. You hear from the stairwell. Guys, uh, are you okay in there? I'm going to... Yes? I heard some screaming. Everything's fine. Uh, Is it another like reanimated corpse? It might be. I'm not sure. Can you sense I, have, I would have to go check. All yes. right. If you guys are okay, I'll head back downstairs. I'm gonna cast cast my bonfire cantrip on both of these uh now dead undead to burn them up. Okay. We don't need them coming back, guys. We don't. We really don't need them coming back. That is a sound argument. So are you burning them one over there, one over there, or piling them together and burning? With the with the Nate, like with the shit we found in this. Would you get off my keyboard, cat? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, with the shit that we found in this place, can we just burn the whole building down? It might just burn down with the bodies go. You never know. I would I just I would just get I would the assume, actual I living assume, people out of this building and set the whole thing on fire. You know what? I'm gonna go back downstairs. I'm gonna open all the doors from a safe, <laughs> smell free <laughs> distance. Oh Mage Hand, check. you can do that. Yeah. Alright, and I'm gonna just keep on casting bonfire on the way out. You know what I mean? So I'm imagining you all are like Galleon's the last one to go. Yeah, I'm the last one. As 
the person in front will be Hofstetter just opening up doors and somebody yelling out, time to leave, guys, time to go. I, I would just start yelling fire before we start the fire so that people leave. And then we can set fire well, to it. They might be undead, so we might have to check. Fire? Check. Yeah. Oh, Lord, fire. Yep, no. Building's on fire. We gotta leave. Bonfire. Bonfire. Yeah, just so you know, we had our clothes on, so no one recognized us, really, except our logo, which we should probably change that. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> We didn't actually like do anything criminal in view of people who are alive. Exactly. Well, we set the place on fire. They well, didn't we see didn't that. Do that, that could have been the people, people who are alive. There. That's why we're, we're re that's like, why we're running away. There was a lit candle in a room, like yeah. Someone left a lit candle. Doing, I think they were doing some sort of drugs up there. That's why they had the fire. Okay. Yeah. It's someone that's left I'm a going candle with. unattended. Yep. What this pet do that I can't control my character with my keys anymore? Bonfire. 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 Well, you guys are getting all the people out. <laughs> Galleon with a move. smile on his face is lighting this place on fire as he snaps his fingers <laughs> to a song as he's going down the stairs. Let's all leave. Bonfire. Bonfire a spell, or are you casting fire at that thing? No, it's can't. It's a cantrip. So weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. I probably. I don't We're want getting to. Out. I'm getting out. Yeah. Fire bad. Yeah, guys. There's a fire going. We need to hurry up. Get out of here. We are rescuing these people. I I sense that they are all their regular people. Okay. You're going to have to convince him. Well, I'm going to have to convince you guys that these are regular people and we shouldn't kill them? No, I'm saying you know convince saying? him of the fire. Like, well, I mean, the we fire is real. And... Oh, guys, you see Someone all that smoke? A... There's, 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 I think Someone there's definitely a, a fire. Someone left a candle burning in one of the rooms. Yes. Like, that's literally what happened. Yeah, we're trying to save it's you guys. Not why the fire started. But hmm. there was a lit candle left lit. Take it out. Roll for it. I will. De I will deceive them that we're trying to save them. You, if you're gonna let him, he can roll deceive. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that thing where we walk away from the building. You know, and don't look back at it. Yeah. Just walking away from a burning building. And cool, guys. So you guys walk past questions. everybody and... The candle in the top room, man. Someone just left it burning. The second floor, it. the second floor, what, and the spinning part of the windmill is now on fire. Well, I hope nobody needed that. But also, I want to get out of here before the smell hits us. <laughs> yeah, the burning, the burning. That's stuff. the thing. So That's you guys I want to get out. Walk away as everyone's going. Oh man, our place is on fire. Oh, truly a great loss for the sense of smell. Yeah, making oh, our way downtown, our home. fast because the place is on fire. Our home's God, it on reminds fire. Me of Give me one second. I gotta hit the bathroom. Okay. Right. Like, where, like, the one thing that popped into my head when he was describing the place was back home in Skokie at the fucking shit factory. Yeah, the shit factory usually stinks. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I got one close to me where I live. 
It's about two miles out. So whenever you're coming to one direction to come into town, it smells horrible. <laughs> you could have interviewed the bums to see if any of them was like a line cook or something in the past. I mean, we can. It's 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 not hard to find hobos in town. Like, well, we got it, we got people coming to interview in the first place. Yeah. yeah, but this is cheap labor. You could literally pay them like a copper a day and be good. Mm-hmm. They might be really skilled. Who knows? I don't yeah. know if I would. I would want to you know, trust you know, these drug addicts to take they care of the drug addicts. They could be homeless for other reasons. Lots they're definitely drug their addicts. That's why there was a candle up in upstairs. Oh man. We could do an insight check on them, and then use uh, just some like of to, our uh, spare rooms. I would just like to let everyone know that when I said that, my girlfriend just waved because she is <laughs> someone who would definitely do that, but does not do <laughs> drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, I was really that's valid. They could have just been drunkards, not drug addicts. They definitely, no, nah, they had drug addicts written all over them. It definitely seemed like one of them freaking, you know, heroin houses. It's just a halfway house, man. <laughs> you don't know their lives. A windmill? <laughs> sure. A windmill? Look, they could have been like a whole lot of just really intelligent people just down on their luck. You don't know. They could have, uh, been fucked over by some corrupt magistrate. Um, they could have been kicked out by their cheating wives. You never know. We didn't ask. We probably should have, but we didn't. Well, we just got fired. Of the building they were it, it was. In, it was in. not pertinent. To keep talking to them. Right. We could have used whatever. The it 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 isn't necessary. But we could have made them less homeless. We do have by some giving spare them rooms. a job. Yeah. We don't really have very many spare rooms, actually. Well, we have a couple, which, but like, besides the point, we could have given them a job, which mm-hmm. would have let them pay for their own lodging. Yeah, and they would end up, I guarantee they would they're drug addicts. The they would end up stealing, stealing stuff from us. I well, that's when you kill them. Do. Or turn them into the guards, depending on your mood, I guess. We were the guards, remember? Just to those two. Well, they didn't know that. <laughs> Just to the two people we killed. Literally, like, the only people who interacted with us in a negative fashion are now deceased. So. They were undead. Yeah. They weren't technically people. <laughs> well, either way, they're deceased. They are at this moment deceased. All right, guys. So, as you remember, he had pointed out to the map for you. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the area he had pointed out is somewhere in here. Where is here? Well, let me zoom out the map so I can. Oh, okay. Okay, down there. So, you guys want to head over there? Sure. Yeah, why not? All right. Can I somehow regen my HP? Why? Uh, like a what? You, how, how much? How much did you lose? Three. Three. I guess that's a lot for a cleric. I, I will Next. be kind. I will be kindly and like, here, man, you you're a hell of a guy, and I give him one of my <laughs> one of my one of my four hit, hit point uh don't waste HP it on that. Oh, uh, you're fine. You're fine, buddy. What was it? <laughs> it's a uh... four hit point. One d four. Yeah, one d four. I'm gonna save it then. Yeah. But that's just, that's for you, buddy. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna save it for now. 
That's okay. I, I got a good deal on them in the first place. I got one oh. for free. Okay. Thanks. As you guys are walking up to the area here, you can see that there is a guard posted, and you can see that there's stairs heading down to a large uh, wooden, uh, not wooden, metal gate. Now, on the top, on the steel of it, it says Sewer Access Authorized Authorization City of Officials Only. Said there's a guard. Yeah. Can we convince him? You guys want to tr attempt to convince him? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. I was uh, drying off the young end. One second. All right, Should so... we distract him or convince him? I didn't hear what happened. I'm sorry. It, to the sewer, there's a guard, and it says uh, sewer city access officials. only city officials. Uh, can I deceive him that we are city officials? Tell me you're members of the guilds of sellers and plumbers. I will deceive him that we are that. So you're going to walk up to him? Sure, I will deceive him that that's what we are. Twenty four should do. You uh you don't look official. I don't see officials wearing this cloak. Um We're a special brand. Uh, it's it, it's because of the it's because of the rainy weather, man. Oh, you guys are wearing gotcha. It's it's been pretty shitty the last couple of days here. Yeah. Gotcha. Look, uh the bad thing is I don't have the key to unless they gave you the key. We're official. We have the key. Oh, you got the key to it. All right. Well, go ahead and uh, do your thing, guys. Uh, I'll sit her. Uh, hey, you guys mind watching this thing while I go get something to eat real quick? No problem, bro. Sure. All right. Yeah. I'm just going to run over here and grab a get a sandwich. Go for it. Now he walks away from you guys to get a sandwich. Does the key there? work? No. The no. key that that key that you had opened up the room up at the windmill. All right. Could you lockpick, my dear fairy friend? Sure can. Uh, what check would that be? What's the key that we found at the crypt? There was another key. Yeah, it was the silver or the iron key or whatever that we found at the crypt. No, the the the, the key you got or... at the crypt is the one that opened up the windmill. Okay, but gotcha. The windmill. That was a, yeah, the what we were just at. Oh. Now, as for your role, I think it's in your. So again, let's. So, oh, it's not on there. Okay, so let me see what this thing says real quick. All right. Uh, use a dexterity this de oh dex check using thieves tools. So you're just doing a dex check to use your thieves tools. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, you just go in there like it's nothing. Put your tools in there like, oh, psh. I've seen these last ones. Pop the pop that freaking lock right off. Door swings open as you see uh, it leads downward. All right. 
M- makes sense. It's a sewer entrance. You do see water passing right uh, past your legs. Check for traps. So mm-hmm. water, water is heading right past you. Let me uh, get you to that area. Wrong one. This one. Uh, you cannot see anything, correct? No, you can't. See a I tiny, just, right. a tiny to... bit up here. Yep, I got to move you guys over. There. The green are stairs. But... Okay. So let me swing you over there. Who am I missing? Me. No, no, this is me. Oh, yeah, I'm there. We just put two of us together. Ah, okay. So, Hofstetter's up in front, and then everybody else behind. So, you can see the water rushing down the stairs as you're walking walking down. And it leads you to the first door, which is locked. One more door, though. This door is an iron door. So it does have some. What type of lock does it have? Standard lock. I mean, is it inside it or is it like a padlock? Yeah, it, it's a key. Oh. This one's a key. The other one was a padlock. I'm going to make another okay. attempt. Sure. Ooh. Dang! As you go to pay, as you go to pick at it, it just falls apart. What's your plus zero? I'm not sure. I'm just clicking on things in the uh, character. Uh, proficiency? No, that'd be the plus two. Okay. Um, I don't know. As the door just falls open <clears throat> from a little bit of weight you had in there, you can see all the water rushing to the south. You're going to go in. All right, bleeding the way. Uh, like I said before, most of the water is diluted. So there's not a lot of waste, technically, down here. Not a lot, so there is some. Yeah, there's some. The water, as you walk onto it, is like by your knee. Ooh. Just because of how much rain is going. Hmm. This is a delightful day for all of us, I'm sure. I'm going to cast light. It is dark. Yeah, it is dark day. I'm going to do it on my trench coat. So your your trench coat lights up the place again. Actually, as you can see, wait, that... I'll do it on my weapon instead so I can hide okay. it if I have to. So your sword uh, lights up and you can see the T split coming up or Y split. Who's going first? Um, I'll go. Our very aware friend. Yeah, I my keyboard stopped making me move the thing. And, uh... Does anyone need my guidance to do anything? I guess not. Well, unless somebody's making, or somebody's going to search. Uh, I guess I we're mean, just going this way. Looks, I don't know. Was it, Were we going the other way or what? That's fine. It's like, that just looks like the end of the map to me. 
so I figured we were going the way that looked like more Like, is this a door? Yeah. I put the doors as blue. Okay. So, right now, you're coming up to a rusty iron door. Is it locked? Uh, as you're going to check the door, it just falls apart. Oh. That's an old door. And you come into the... You can see down the hallway. Going in. I'm just yep. waiting for you guys to move your guys in. All right, so there's a passage to the left and more area to the right. All right. Um, Can I do a perception check? Uh, sure. Inside. Mm, which one? Perception. I don't see anything. You don't notice anything, really. All right, which way are you guys going? Uh. So we're looking for undead. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Hey, figured it out. Cool. He somehow turned on my keyboard lock. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he did kind of like. Yeah, well, I didn't his think body he made across it. your keyboard. I didn't think he made it all the way to F11, but whatever. He's, he's a long. Boy. Okay. All right. Um, he, that makes my life. Uh, on a one, we'll go left. On a two, we'll go right. Okay. We'll go to the right. There we go. I guess we're going right. All right. So as you're going right, thing in here, reveal the area. And you see that there are outlines where there used to be barrels and there used to be boxes. It's empty. Mm hmm. All right. Well, you, could, you could tell by the floor that there used to be. There used to be stuff in there. All right. Sorry. Here. Uh, let me check something real quick. You, you okay? Ow. All right, so who's walking in there first? This me. area? That's you? Me. Yes. All right, can you roll for me real quick? Uh, roll what? A deck safe. Okay. Why is someone trying to surprise me? Because I'm not going to be surprised. Uh, no, you hit a trap. Oh. Okay. Damn, you just made it. <laughs> yeah, you step forward and then lead your body back as an arrow pass right in front of you. I just dodged that shit. Like using the midget style. God, Windows update. He did dick. If you won't actually do the update, leave me alone. I think our first should check if there's any more traps. 
Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I could just blunder into them and then just not get hit. So, you know, barbarian your way through. I mean, other people do it too. It's a, it's a reasonable way to disarm traps is to just set them off and then just not be hurt. Also free. Go for it. Otherwise, half stutter. Yeah, I'll take point. Okay. Just gonna uh, keep... roll a deck. Oh no! Oh shit! That is a natural one. A bone popped out from the side with like another sharp bone. I got boned. So, uh, you only got, you only took three points of damage as it got you from the side. Maybe you yeah, guys think should, the uh, got you from the side. Switch off. <laughs> yeah, I think now I'll go in front again. I take turns. Um, as you walk into that room, uh, you catch cold air behind you. And you can hear a commotion. From where? That way? The cold air comes from the north. You can hear the commotion from the south. Um, I did not know we could uh, flip our characters like that. Oh, yeah. There's this little thing above your character when you're, like, highlighted it. The little, like, square thing. Oh. You just click and drag it. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? Uh, South Shore, where there's a commotion going on. That's my vote, anyway. Yeah. That sounds that sounds reasonable. Uh, all right, you want to get close up to the door? Uh, yeah. Is it locked? Give me a perception. Perception. And I see nothing. Uh, it's the door is open, but you can't you you can't uh you can hear yelling back and forth, but you can't make out what they're saying. I think I'll go with the same plan as last time. I will slam open the door and yell, "Stop right there, criminal scum!" Sounds good to me. Everyone good with that? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Him. <laughs> um, uh, you're okay, so you're going to come in there, right? Yes, yeah. I'm going to fucking... Right. Nobody else move. He slams the door. Door swings open, hits the bird. That's the word. Like face smash. Yep. Nice. Yeah. They're right in the face. Takes a couple points of damage. Oh, that's all he took. Okay. And then everyone stops and turns at Adderall. And you can see that there is what appears to you. Let me see what his description is real quick. Uh, we are B8. A halfling, a halfling with a purple robe on him. Mm -hmm. With three undeads in front of him. And on the other side of the room, those bird like looking uh, creatures there with 
what looks like a beholder, but only four eyes right behind them. Yeah. And the halfling yells at you going, Stop them! Stop them! Get them! I mean, everyone in this room looks like a criminal. I definitely think so. They're saying, they're yelling, stop them. So, I assume bad. And this is the halfling? Yes. This might be an easy fight if we have a hold, just like one little hold to attack them. No, that's fine. You just get through the the choke point and kill everyone through it. Um, All right. Well, we've I've we've seen these guys before, right? Like the their group of people in general, lemur or something like that. Are we rolling? Yes, initiative? rolling for initiative. Roll initiative. Oh wow, I rolled really low. Me. Let's Your initiative is 25. My initiative is 25. <laughs> and that's not even the highest it goes. All right, everybody did theirs already? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Adderall, you heard a squawk when the door went whacked first. Um, did I have my shit equipped already, or, or was I not? Nope. You did not pre-equip. Okay. Well... In that case, we should back out and somebody go on either side of the door. Yeah. And you can hear the halfling yell at you, kill them, hurry. Yeah, I mean, we, we've seen these guys before and we know that they're assholes, so I'm going to obviously just listen to that for the moment. Um, we can't see this one. Well, that was behind the door. Your door swung out that way. Oh, good. Um, well. That's why you took bludgeoning damage. You could attack and move back? I could attack and move back. The only one you have any concern of is this dude. I'm gonna He yells at you Attack Hold on them. Get them Okay I'm going to step in here Uh is the door still in my way? Yeah, the door is between you and the bird. Cool, that's actually not bad. Um I'm just gonna cast Thunder Wave. Uh, at this 15 foot cube, getting all four of these things in it. So they have to make a DC 13 Constitution saving throw. Uh. Everyone gets hit but the gazer in the Okay, so he takes half damage. Um, What's your damage? Uh, it is 11 damage, and there's more to this. Um, 
lightning damage or just the sh- thunder? Thunder. Or hold on, did it do it right? Uh, so it's two d eight thunder damage. What did they do uh, for? They, the ones who failed are pushed ten feet away from me, and then the one who succeeded takes half of the damage and isn't pushed. And any unsecured objects that are completely within the area of effect are automatically pushed 10 feet away from me. This one slams it to him. He slams it to him, pushing him back. Slams it to him. This one? And then, um... They're fine. Like, I, I pointed it this push? way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, he shot there, it that yeah. way. Oh. Since he's said, attacking, that... since he's attacking to the right, the left is not going to attack. Yeah, it's a fifteen-foot um, cube. What does that mean? From the center of you, or from the center of where it, he cast it? Uh, it starts from me, but I choose where on me it starts and in what direction. Oh, okay, so like. Like, I could do it 15 feet above me, 15 feet, like, okay. in front to the side. Um, I basically just extend it to the wide. So if you shot it forward, these 15 wouldn't feet, it hit everything? No, these 15 feet in front of me, These this cube right okay. here. So that's one. Okay. Yeah. Of five foot squares. So just those guys. Um, uh, you hear a lot of squawking. And, um, all right, so that's my action. Bonus action. I will summon my rapier to my hand. And uh, end my turn. The skeleton runs right past you. Are you going to take an opportunity or let it run past you? I'll let it run past. And goes and takes a swing right at the At the bird that's in front of you and hits it. He goes and he stabs him with a rusted blade and manages to cut right through the front of his chest, killing him. Neat. Okas. Okay. You just heard a, th- a thunder wave. Yeah, everyone within 300 feet heard that. Yeah. It echoed through the whole chamber. Yeah, Someone just yeah. took a shit and heard that come from the toilet and is deeply confused. <laughs> no, I'm just confused why this thing attacks this one. Because they're two different... Remember they were arguing before we came in? <laughs> and I took... A chance to aim at the ones that we've fought before and know are assholes. Okay. We'll uh, deal with the other ones if they turn out to also be assholes, but they got I undead. The... So undead, I would assume, was assholes. They're the ones no, that have this I mean... thing. But you're right. Get rid of one group first. Okay. Yeah. Am I able to walk past him? I'll let like... you walk past him. Because the other ones are not uh, aggressive. This would get me to 30. Right here. Go ahead. Uh, my bonus action is going to be casting the magic weapon on my weapon. Let me pull that up real quick. So you're giving it a bonus, I think? Plus one to damage roll and plus one to damage. Uh, let's see. Plus one bonus to attack rolls and damage rolls. Mm-hmm. What are you attacking? 
this guy. Go ahead. Okay, click that. Eleven plus one, right? So that's twelve. Yep. Damn, you barely misses a. Okay. Oh well. I'm done. It looks like I have that until I lose concentration okay. or an hour. Yep. <laughs> Uh, one second, I'm trying to find uh, this thing's ability. It's fun. It's fun. There is the stupid thing. There you are. Aggressive. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. He's in front of it. Uh, it's going to hold its attack for right now. It's going to hold its attack until it has a chance. Because something's in front of it. So if the thing falls in front of it, it will fire. Hofstetter, you're up. All right. There. Is that guy an enemy? Which one? That one. No. no. Not for the moment. Okay. The moment. Uh, your, your enemies are right here. Oh, those, yeah, those three dudes with that icon. No. They've gotten. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna attack my bow then. What are you attacking? Uh, go with this dude in the corner. Okay. Hit. Seven? No, it's a 23 to hit. Seven and seven damage. damage. And seven damage. Yeah, your arrow goes and fucking goes right through him and takes him right to the back of the wall, killing him. Slides. And he's just hanging. By the way, he doesn't slide down because the arrow's holding him in place. The king is... He's going to take an attack right on to you? If he even hits you? Uh, of course not. He goes to to hit you, but no, not your word. You just keep dodging them. Oh. Adderall. Wait, oh, no, you get uh, not, not you. Sorry, guy. Okay. Yeah. What? Ocas goes yeah. for Ocas. All right, Galleon, you're up. Let me see. All right, can I can just slide by my guys and what? Uh, there's limited space, in there. so there's a spot here, and that's about it. Spot here, and so I should be able, I should be able to get the right here. Yeah. One, 
And I will attack this one using uh, my green flame blade and, you know, dual wielding. Uh, roll it. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Hold on. Oh. Well, I mean, you rolled it. That's, that's the right yeah, side. I... Then just add your bonuses. Oh, yeah, I still had freaking... You still minutes. hit, dude. Yeah, I hit. You still hit. And I got to do a roll for my sec... Uh, or is that for both blades? Uh, Just roll your... Roll my damage? Yep. One blade. Did you eat all of your trees? Like a blade. So as you That's slice, 15. and as I'm you... not, I'm not done yet. <laughs> what? Because the no, because the green flame blade that I use jumps fire damage to this guy. How does it jump fire damage? Green flame blade, camp cantrip. Do you want me to put it up for you? Yeah. Uh, can you do that when you're dual wielding? Well, yeah, I, the, as part, Arita, as as part of the action used to cast the spell, you make a, a, a melee attack with a weapon. Oh, so you don't deal fire damage the first thing; you deal fire damage this to the other creature. Yes, until I reach level five, and then I can do both. Huh. What is the name of that? What is the name of that spell again? Green flame blade. Green. Why do I not see green flame blade? I see flame blade in in this online thing, but. I don't see green flame blood. Is it in the Santhar's thing? It's not in the the regular book, but it is the warlock spell that is available to. <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, I, I gotta pause it just to find it. There's a online. Uh, yeah, I got the, the, typing the, it the in. online thing. <laughs> Can't draw a range five foot instantaneous. Yeah, anything the the creature within five foot. Takes a uh, damage equal to my charisma. Yeah, it looks looks legit. So it says a spell from Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide. Okay, that's what I was trying to find. Where is it? Sword Coast Adventures Guide. Okay. I have that. I put that link. That... As part. V is you have V is yet to say something. Yeah. 
So the in that situation, if he was muted, he couldn't use. So it's a VM. And M is his weapon. Material. Yeah. It says a weapon. So whenever you're using it, you got to yell out. I did. I said I'm using I'm attacking using green flame blade. No, no. What are you yelling out to cast? Count me, how many? You know? Uh... I mean, a, a lot of them say that it's just if he was muted by some type of. Yeah, like usually it's like normal casting words. Just would like be. when uh, they were using Booming Blade earlier. Yeah. Like, so basically Mama Sam, same... Mama Sal, Mama Kuso. <laughs> All right. Bursts into green flame. It looks legit. Well, it is. As long as I can get a reference back. All right. Uh, how many points to a fire? Uh, five. It's equal to my charisma modifier. It is hurt. The one behind him. As the one in front of you dies. And as soon as you killed it and the bird fell, the gazer had hold us, it held its turn until that opportunity arrived. And blast Ocas. What? Hold on. It says it takes fire damage equal to your spell casting ability modifier. How many points? Yes, that would be my charisma. Mine's five. Okay. What happens? Uh, do a DC saving throw with uh, no deck. Dex. Dex. Ten. You feel that. Oof. What happened? The little eye stock thing got you. And then what? Oh, uh, you're getting frost damage. How much? Sixteen. Sixteen? Holy. Yep. I have four HP. Oh boy. Uh why yep. were you on the front line again? I don't know. <sighs> well well mm -hmm. hell. The halfling that, that pot. <laughs> the halfling raises this guy. Oh boy. Back from the dead. And that ends his turn. The skeleton runs uh, right past the uh, Hofstetter. Oh, are you going to you know, let it run right past you? Is that possible? He's not doing anything bad to us right now. Runs right past Olkos. Are you going to do anything? No. And then goes to swing at that. And he is successful. And cuts right through the middle of the gazer. Killing it. Okay. That was abrupt. The, that was easy. The halfling looks over and goes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. I'll never, ever do that again. Guys. What was that about? I'm going to slowly walk, like, out of here. A deal's gone bad. <laughs> and start, start healing yourself. <laughs> a, deal, a, deal's gone, a deal's gone bad, and I gave... Well, I was trying to use the key to persuade Xanathar to 
let go of my debt. Aha. Uh -huh. But he okay. double, but he double crossed. Why didn't you just expect that from the start? They have been known to double cross a lot of people. Yeah. Well, just wanted to clear my debt. I owe them money. Well, that's dumb of you. Well, it's obvious you guys came for the key, too. Well, yeah. Well, but we're, nice, but we're nicer. I can tell you this much. If you guys get out of here and run up these stairs, you might catch the bird that... God damn it. You mean you gave it to them? I didn't give them to me. They damn bird attacked me. Grabbed it with Man, its, grabbed it with you... its big brand. You suck. I regret saving your life right now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. No, no hard stuff, man. I mean, look, the treasure, it would have saved my ass. You're making us go through so much extra work, dude. Look, he just got out of here as you guys are. You probably catch him right up, right getting out of this building, right? You get it? He's yours. I don't bother you. I'm out of here. So, I consider me, me and Xanathar's debt paid off. Can we do any type of check to make sure he's not lying? Go ahead and um, see if you notice anything. What do I roll? Investigation. Investigation. That's intimidation. You think he's telling the truth? <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be telling the truth. He just tells you good luck with the treasure, guys, because I don't want to deal with anything. That key is way too hot. I heal myself. Do you know where the key goes to? Where we have to go for the key? I figure you guys already knew that led to the treasure. Yeah, but where exactly is the treasure? Oh, you get the key and you find out. That's a stupid some, system. Does the key have some sort of map or magic that tells us? You guys don't know about the legend, do you? No. No, I would say we don't. So you're chasing a key, and you don't even know why you're chasing this key. We're, we know, we're, we know we're chasing that would it be for correct. treasure. We're chasing it for treasure. That's what we know. It leads to the vault. A dragon's horde vault. Ooh. Is there a dragon there too? I don't know, but it from every from the legends, it's a dragon's vault horde that's here in the city. Um uh, fine, we'll go get the goddamn key. Uh so the I'm chase. Go. So the chase yeah. begins to next week. Cool. Fucking, I knew I should have picked mobile, giving me an extra speed boost, but whatever. Uh, fucking fine. We'll go on a fucking <laughs> car chase. <laughs> Stupid ass car chases. So you're gonna be chasing down the bird next week. Yes. Where exactly did the bird he? Where did the bird go? You're right next to a pair of stairs that go go up. That, okay, that right green, here. that 